RKO the Infamous NWO back with another video. And today I'll be doing my WWE Vengeance 2011 pay per view predictions. So we haven't seen the pay per view, I mean, a pay per view. We haven't seen a Vengeance pay per view since 2006, which was headlined by RVD versus Edge, the return of DX. We had Night of Champions, it was 2007 Vengeance last Night of Champions, but we had a real Vengeance pay per view so th since 2006. So they've revived the pay per view they haven't used in five years. So the first match on the card here, we got Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton. So these guys have been feuding somewhat. They've been feuding, Orton and Co Rhodes have been having matches during the Henry feud. And um, Co uh, Rhodes have been actually getting the better out of these two. Um, except when Randy Orton beat the crap out of Cody Rhodes and actually made him bleed like crazy. And you guys remember that from SmackDown, but they had to cover up. But yeah. Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton are expected to be actually a very good match between two, these two guys. And honestly, I expect Cody Rhodes to beat Randy Orton and have some major momentum because he is the champion. And this is not for the Intercontinental Championship, but people are going to think Orton might win because not not, it's not for the Intercontinental Championship. But I think Cody Rhodes is going to win in this one, but that's just me, though. Next, we have... Um, an unannounced match, but I think this match is going to happen. Sheamus versus Christian. And this feud has been going on since Night of Champions when Sheamus gave that bro kick to Christian. And Sheamus did win at Hell in a Cell. And I expect Sheamus to win this match too if this match happens at Vengeance. So Sheamus for the win. Next match we have uh, Jack Swagger and Ziggler versus Team Air Boom which is Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne. And I do not see Swagger and Ziggler um, beating um, Air Boom, even though they already had a match at Hell in a Cell. I expect Air Boom to retain the Tag Team Champions. Just because I don't see Ziggler holding both the Tag Team Championships and the United States Championship, that's just me. Next match, we have Eve versus Beth Phoenix for the Divas Champion. And um, Beth Phoenix just recently won the title at Hell in a Cell. So I don't see her dropping the title just right the next pay-per-view after dropping it to Eve. So I expect Beth Phoenix to win the Divas Championship. Next match we got here is for the World Heavyweight Championship. We have Big Show versus Mark Henry. So Big Show returning after Mark Henry took Big Show out during the summer. Big Show came back and pretty much calling on Mark Henry and they're finally having a match. The last match we saw them two have was at Money in the Bank, and that was a slow, boring paced match of the night for that for that pay per view. That was pretty much the washroom break between the Money in the Bank matches, and it wasn't that good of a match. But I expect them to show do to have a better performance than their Money in the Bank match, uh, a decent match, a big man match, but I expect a decent match. But I see Mark Henry retaining the World Heavyweight Champion. I do not see Big Show winning the World Heavyweight Championship. Or any, like the WWE Champion or World Heavyweight Championship for the rest of his career. But that's just me, though. So, Mark Henry for the win. Next, we have for the WWE Championship John Cena versus Alberto Del Rio in a last man standing match. So, a hell in a cell, if you guys remember, Alberto Del Rio pinned CM Punk to win the WWE Championship and then triple threat match. So, John Cena wasn't pinned. So, he got his rematch at Vengeance. And, and this past Monday on Raw, he beat the tag team of Alberto Del Rio and um, Michael Cole, and the winner of, and whoever won that match was to, f to pick the stipulation and for the match that they would have a vengeance. So um, John Cena won that match and he picked a last man standing match after knocking Alberto Del Rio out and counting to 10 and then saying the match of Avengers will be a last man standing match for the WWE Championship. But I expect Alberto Del Rio to pick up the victory on this one. Yes, I know John Cena with his be um, never back down, never quit attitude. But I see Alberto Del Rio retaining the championship. Because, and even though WWE already did this before, having his uh, three or four week reign, I see Alberto Del Rio retain the championship. Because going to Star Series... John Cena teaming up with The Rock, and I don't see him holding the belt at that time. 
And the last match we see is CM Punk and Triple H versus The Miz and R Truth. So this storyline has gotten so confusing that I don't even want to talk about it. I made a whole video about it. But uh, Miz and R Truth invade Hell in a Cell. CM Punk knows that Triple H is not part of the conspiracy, and uh, Triple H and CM Punk are teaming up to get to face the reinstated R Truth and Miz. And vengeance, and I expect CM Punk and Art uh, and Triple H to beat um, R Truth and Miz. If WWE was smart, they would make Miz and R Truth um, beat CM Punk and Triple H, but I don't see that. I see CM Punk and Triple H winning this tag team match. So that is my vengeance 2011 predictions. Let's run through what I have chosen. Why did I exit that file for? So I see Sheamus winning, Colt Rose winning, CM Punk and Triple H winning, Beth Phoenix winning, Air Boom winning, Mark Henry ring winning, and Alberto Del Rio. And someone is calling me, so that's the end of my video. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and that is it.